Ventricular assist devices, or VADs, are much more common than they used to be. Um, I've been implanting these for over 20 years. Broadly, there are two kinds, the kinds that are temporary and the kind that's durable that you can go home with. Um, we've made tremendous advances in both categories. Um, the temporary devices um, are, are, uh, have saved so many lives. Uh, the ECMO program, which is the extracorporeal membrane oxygenation program, that really saves people that are in dire distress, um, is growing. Um, and uh, we have a very robust program here at this hospital. In fact, both Robert Wood Johnson and New York Beth Israel Medical Center have very large ECMO programs. Uh, and they're very organized. Um, they, the outcomes are certainly across the country and in both these sites much better than they used to be as recently as five years ago. Uh, with respect to the durable LVADs, the ones that you can go home with, um, we have here at New York Beth Israel been involved with every FDA clinical trial uh, of every single LVAD for the last 15 to 20 years. Um, so we have been able to offer the most advanced devices to our patients well before they become available um, on the shelf. Uh, the most uh, uh, advanced LVAD right now is the HeartMate 3. Um, we were one of the programs involved with the clinical trials several years ago. It's now uh, been recently FDA approved and has shown outcomes that are outstanding that uh, I feel are superior to the outcomes from the previous VADs. Uh, so we have a spectrum of, of me mechanical circulatory assist uh, technology to offer our patients, which really goes hand in hand with all the uh, treatment um, options we have in heart failure. RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together.